So, Freunde der Sonne, bevor wir jetzt abdriften, Kylan hat letztens ein äh, sehr schönes Video gefunden, was ich gerne mit euch gucken möchte. Und zwar äh, der gute Daniel Morat. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr selber schon mal den äh, netten Menschen kennengelernt habt. Der fährt äh, selber GT3 in Real Life und GT4 und das sogar sehr erfolgreich und streamt auch ein bisschen und bildet gerade so die Schnittstelle für Sim Racing Real Life und, äh, nee, Sim Racing und Real Life Racing. Und äh, er hat es wohl einigen Sim Simracern erlaubt, sein Auto zu fahren. Was da jetzt genau hintersteckt, weiß ich nicht, aber ich würde mir das gerne mal angucken, was er da so ermöglicht hat äh, für die Leute und was sie da machen durften. Also scheinbar durften die mit seinem Auto fahren. Was auch immer das bedeutet, sein Auto fahren. Das finden wir jetzt mal raus. Lass mal gucken. Lass mal gucken, was das, ob wir, ob wir das auch mal machen können irgendwo. I really expect to you know, keep these two race cars in the same condition that they all ride bound. If there's any loss of control Boah, of the laut. car or anything, your day is done. I think all was f***ing flying. Roddy couldn't keep it on the racetrack. Yeah. Oh, it just went. Another one. We brought sim racers in from all over the world and we just have one question. Okay. Can they actually drive a real race car? The Morandis M Squad is a community race team that I started two years ago. We have drivers from all over the world and we brought them over here because they've been helping us all season long prepare for the GT4 races. Bryce Ward and Windward Racing gave these guys the opportunity of a lifetime and is going to put these sim racers in a real GT4 car to see if they can translate what they know in the sim to the real world. Okay, das ist krass. I think the GT4 is going to be 1500er I-Rating. So, meine Damen und Herren, dürfen Sie sich Ralf vorstellen. Nur, dass äh, Ralf, äh, da müsste noch daneben stehen, äh, D, 0,7 Safety Rating. Very hard to drive at first, since I have never drove a car under that type of power. Oh, ich bin sehr gespannt. Ist das so ein durchgemischtes? It's something that, honestly, within a dream oh, or forever. Yeah. Um, And put in a lot of time in the sim with the boys and just having something like this being like a, a possibility has been awesome. So looking forward to it. 3,900, okay, okay. We've had Dan talk a lot about, um, you know, the similarities and, and obviously I'm going to trust Dan's opinion, you know, he, I mean, he's, I he's experienced, you know, very well in the sim as, as well as the race car. My, my rig has a really, really stiff brake, like most sim racing rigs. So I think that's going to be a huge difference is the feel of the brake because I know like the throw of, of a normal car and even in the GT4, the throw of the brake is probably three or four times as long as what my sim rig is. Das finde ich übrigens auch wirklich sehr schön, wo du das gerade schreibst, da kommt, dass nicht nur irgendwie 4000 Atz, 4000 Elo Atzen da sind, sondern wirklich alles so durchgemischt. Das finde ich wirklich cool. The sim definitely helps a lot. But okay, hello, 6300, alles klar. I think for most people, we can't quantify the way the car actually feels and the holy shit factor of almost crashing or how the car feels with your body and the G-Force. I don't know. I think she could better lose. I don't know how sim racing is preparing for this because I've never driven a race car. I hope it prepares me as far as reference coins and kind of understanding The muscle memory of turning. Uh, bei knapp unter drei Area. Also knapp unter drei, aber das hat nichts zu sagen. Yeah, and, yeah, also I, bei mir in You know, handling a car, but we'll have to see. Yeah, real nice. They're not Windward fans, I guess. It's mainly just excitement. Okay, das ist wirklich cool. We're in Houston, just leaving the hotel. This is the morning of... Ich liebe diese Jacken, ne? ich hätte sie auch sehr gerne, aber mich ärgert das jedes Mal, wenn ich sehe, wie teuer die sind und dann kriegst du auch genau nicht diese Farbkombination, das regt mich auf. Es gibt so eine navy-blaue Jacke von Tommy Hilfiger mit äh, weiß und rot dran, ne? aber dann habe ich auf den Preis geguckt und dann äh, <lacht> habe ich das doch gelassen. Probably the best day of a lot of people's lives, driving a race car for the first time. Going from sim racing to real racing, it's going to be crazy, I can't wait. We're going to start out with, you know, getting seat checks, ear checks, and then uh, doing doing a lead follow for two laps each. So out, two laps in, 
swap everybody out, and that's pretty much gonna take up the full morning session, have lunch, then we have an afternoon session. We're gonna do kind of the same thing, and then have everybody go run the cars on your own. I've been waiting a long time for this. Finally getting my chance in the car. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know how to operate cool. steering wheels. Up, down, on the gears, neutral button. It won't go into neutral unless you actually push the button. So once you can't actually engage it when you're rolling, you need to be under like a certain, it's under like 10 kilometers an hour, then you can engage the neutral, but you have to put clutch in. So clutch down, neutral, and then you can sit there. That's really cool. I wanna know what, what it's like for you, like first time in the car sitting here. Look, this is ridiculous, it is. I haven't stopped smiling for I don't know how many days, but yeah. to be here now, it's like, this is awesome because I truly do love motorsports. So to be in the car and set up and comfortable, it's like, yep, yeah, this feels like home. How does your single monitor setup uh, look right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I've got so much more field of view. Um, it's, it's weird past this point, you know? We, have, we haven't seen anything past this point in the entire uh, three years on iRacing. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to the Miata, and this feels good. Holy shit, okay. 8,300. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob wir noch Rundenzeiten oder sowas sehen, dass man das auch mal vergleicht. Um, so, are you comparing this to a Miata right now? Yes. It's only compared. You're fired. <laughs> Ow. It's okay. We're driving the GT63. We're gonna take the guys out on track, give them some like cider laps just to show them the layout. And uh, it's a bit wet right now, so we're gonna try to dry it up and then we're gonna rip it. All right, so I'm gonna shake this car down. It's just freshly put back together. Ohne Livery, ohne alles, Junge. Das ist schon special. Das ist schon special. Wie cool. That's cool. This is the perfect example of racing. I mean, the pink car was fucking flying. But he couldn't keep it on the racetrack. Yeah. I mean, it ended up dead last. It was so slow of a spin. I was just like, how? He spun at 10 miles an hour. It was like out of the first chicane. He just like, I think he touched the curb. It was so slow. Yeah. It was a skill issue. Uh, Adam just touched the curb. It's, uh, Really? Dropped a wheel off on the exit of the chicane, did a little spin, and now we have to slow clap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Moment of silence, um, just for acknowledging skill issue. Uh, you can't keep up with a pro driver, I guess. <laughs> you know, you can't came out of that little little carousel, and, I, and you just went on it, and I was like, yeah, I could do that too, and it just went, ah! and it just kept going. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Lost a little bit. Nine. Dock him. Just went. Yeah, it was the slowest slide I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So c congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sehr viele, Macy. Sehr, sehr viele, denke ich. Honestly, that was one of the best experiences of my life. Do so you like me or what? You're okay. You're not too bad, you know? It was so much fun, dude. Oh I have no no actual words for it. Yeah. You hit the gas and it just went. You hear everyone say how responsive a race car is, but I mean, it's the way it just digs. and I mean, it's insane how much traction the car actually has. Do you find that, like, driving the sim is helping you for this? Oh, my God, 100%. Like, if, you, if I didn't have the sim racing experience, then I would try to drive in that car. It'd be, oh, my God, no. But like within the first laps, I felt, all right, I'm starting to, I'm starting to find where the limits are. It felt really close to how it felt in eye racing coming out of the turns where that like rear end just kind of wants to kick just a smidge. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I guess in sim, you feel like you use a lot less steering. In Maga, was sind denn da für Granaten unterwegs, Junge? 
Holy macaroni! But then you use it in real life, so you're like really a lot of steering angle to get the car uh, rotated in the slower speed corners. Ooh. But beyond that, it feels kind of one to one in a sense. Yeah, you got to break so much harder. Yeah, I mean, I I broke way for the 300 up here, and I if there wasn't runoff, I'd been in the grass for sure. The one thing that's missing from the sim is like the feel of the turn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You work the wheel. Yeah, yeah, and like here, I just felt like you turn it and it was like wanting to turn. Yeah. That's cool. Ich finde das wirklich ganz, ganz toll, dass er das äh, versucht, diese Brücke zu bauen, dass Leute, wenn sie ihre Sachen beispielsweise konfigurieren und ähm, also vor Force Feedback und was man theoretisch fühlen sollte und was man nicht fühlt, dass man, dass hier die Brücke gebaut wird, dass dort jemand wirklich ist, der anderen auch die Möglichkeit gibt, das mitzuerklären, damit seine Punkte, die er mit reinbringt, halt noch unterstrichen werden. Das finde ich richtig, richtig gut. After reviewing the footage, wow, that was really a very good transition. I can now answer the question: Can these sim racers drive a real race car? The short answer is yes. Ooh. They can drive the car from the sim directly into the race car. These guys look so comfortable, as if they've been doing it before, and you can really see that the sim helped these guys transition into a real race car. In terms of speed, the closest driver was about five and a half seconds off of my benchmark time. But on a six or seven lap sample, which is what most of the guys got, you can't expect much more than that. At the end of the day, they were there for an experience just to get used to the car and see what it felt like. And the biggest takeaway for me was actually how far off their equipment was tuned to actually how it felt in the real race car. They said that the braking felt way different, a lot more travel, a lot more uh, control and feeling in the brake, but also the steering wheel, how much more feedback there actually was Now they're going to take that information back to their simulator and hopefully get it dialed in. And you guys can do the exact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. My brakes. I know. Yeah, yeah. Exact same thing with our playlist that actually helps you dial in your sim rig to make it feel exactly like the real race car. This was such an amazing experience, and I cannot wait to do this again. That's a really cool. That's really nice. Ich mag Daniel wirklich sehr gerne. Das ist ein cooler Dude. Er ist wirklich ein sehr, sehr cooler Dude. Er ist sehr sympathisch. Und ich finde es wirklich sehr cool, dass jetzt auch mal jemand da ist, der äh, nicht 100 Jahre alt ist und die Brücke baut zwischen Sim Racing und Real Racing. So, weil wir wünschen uns ja, glaube ich, alle, dass wir da irgendwann mal drinnen sitzen in so einem Auto. Ja, das wäre cool, wenn da noch mehrere Videos kommen. Das würde ich richtig feiern. Das würde ich wirklich richtig feiern, wenn da noch mehr kommen. Das ist guter Content.